Good evening. Of all the time bombs in the American economy set to explode with dire consequences, this is a big one. Staggering debt from student loans. Decades to pay off. A new life with old debts. The cost of college is skyrocketing. For a lot of young people, it means graduating from school with mountains of student loan debt. 1.2 trillion. How about that? A growing number of Americans are starting their careers deeply in debt, a result of all the money they had to borrow to pay for their education. Student loan debt is having an impact on how people live their lives, and it's causing delays in uh, getting married, buying a car, buying a house, having children, saving for retirement. 70% of people who are asked in this brand new study say they admitted they either hate their work or they feel completely uninspired on the job. I think when you graduate in the midst of a terrible recession, that it really does impact you and it impacts your decision making. So the problems have been written and now it's up to us to erase them. The way I look at it, though, is we've got three options. We can wait for the government to do something about it. We can wait for the economy to fix itself. Or we can do what every past generation has done before us, and take matters into our own hands and be the change we want to see in the world. Some of the problems that our generation faces today are problems that we've never seen before. And I believe that there are problems that many people don't even have answers for, which is kind of scary if you think about it. I think a lot of the problems we face as a generation are just an overall paradigm that where we're at is where we're going to be. And I think that, you know, where you're at doesn't matter. You know, it's where we're going. Conformity. You know, people doing what everyone else is doing and not necessarily you know, stopping to think for themselves about whether or not that's what they actually want to do themselves. If you want to achieve big and if you want to win big in the 21st century, you're going to have to hustle. Our parents are lending money they don't have for degrees we can't pay back. And that's preparing us for jobs that don't exist anymore. All these people are going to class, they're all students. It's a very, very tough world out there, especially when you have the kind of debt that you can't get out of on your back when you're looking for jobs. We can't solve these problems unless we come together, you know, unless we form a big group of young people who face these problems on head first. There's more than what we've been taught to believe is out there, you know, in terms of opportunity. Corporate's changing, making money in America's changing. If you don't change with them, you're going to get left behind. Being a young professional to me means that you're serious about your future. You know, you're not just thinking about the present day, about when the next party is, but you're thinking about what you're gonna be doing the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years of your life. I think young people need the YPR because of the awareness that it brings that there's better options out there and that there's big things for us in life if we just open our eyes and look for them. When, when young people get together, they're, they're, there's a spirit that comes together. You know, you feel it on college campuses. And I feel like the YPR as a whole brings that same college spirit to a professional manner. The value that I bring to every person that comes into my life is showing them that I am an average person with an above average desire. As soon as I learned the mission of the YPR, I just really understood that, you know, this is about something much bigger than myself and, you know, the outside forces didn't really matter anymore. When you have, you know, hundreds, thousands of young people all with the same purpose, all trying to achieve the same thing, you know, that's, that's what really, that's what I saw in the beginning, that's what really attracted me to it because it's not something that you see every single day. We have the depth of the vision to know that one day this will just be history, you know, people with depth of vision have the ability to witness things as history before it's in the past. And I know that what we're doing here is something that's never been done before. Young people now have the power and the ability to shift entire cultural norms. I was taught the same routine that I'm gonna have to work really hard and then you know do the same thing everyone else is doing, but I would get the exact same result as them. We're gonna create a culture of young people where it's just socially acceptable to enjoy yourself and value our own time. It really causes us to now kind of think outside the box. We start to see new industries emerging that really, you know, start to get our wheels spinning on what will work for us. 
you know, going into a junior year, help some of them. This is a solution. You know, everybody's out there talking about all the problems, but we're just talking about a solution. I never really had the opportunity to even leave my hometown. I think I left Michigan maybe once to go on a family vacation. But in the last two years, I've been blessed to go to 35 states and 12 different countries, you know, all over the world because of this opportunity. So if you want to travel, you know, this is definitely something that you guys should look at. One of my favorite things about the Young Pros movement is that it's organic. It's made from young people for young people. It's from the YPR for the YPR. Everything that you see, you know, down to this video, it's from young people. So everyone can go out there and become a young professional. You know, you can go out and become a professional in whatever way you want to be, whether it be basketball, whether it be through film, whether it be through being music, you know. But how do we find a way for all of those people with those special talents to join the general public? The rest of us who don't have those incredible skills but still have these incredible dreams that we want to really make it in this world. And that's where I think Vima comes in. I see Vima as a melting pot that really cultivates our culture and, and really goes back to what America was founded on as, as this melting pot where all people can come together, you know, with their common and dreams in order to teach each other, in order to help each other get their dreams and really achieve more in life. Vima made me want to become a young professional because of the mission that we were on and I knew that if we wanted to achieve big I was gonna have to step up and become more and ultimately that comes down to being a professional in all aspects of your life. Most people go out there and they think oh I need to go convince people to do this or I need to show so many people on what this can do but the biggest thing you have to do is close yourself because when you truthfully believe that you can do this and that your friends can do this, you will not be shy to go out there and share this opportunity. It's life changing, to be honest. You know, the first time I went to a convention out in San Diego last year in Vegas, seeing so many young people that are just so excited and, you know, positive, I've never experienced anything like that in my entire life. The Vima culture is something, it's definitely something special. That's what's most important, you know, in my mind, especially being um, active duty in the military. Through this company, I've learned that failure is a good thing. You know, and the faster that you can fail, the faster that you can learn to do better. And you are going to get the results the way that you treat this business. If you want to get paid like a professional, you have to act like a professional. Treat it like a profession, take it seriously, but have fun with it. Because if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. I promise you that. We now have the ability to voice our opinions. We have the ability to, uh, you know, reach people all over the entire world. And I think that's such a powerful concept, and it's only going to gain more power as this thing gets bigger. You know, being able to go in two and a half years from you know working at Taco Bell to financially free, being able to do what you want, when you want, where you want, with whoever you want, however you want. You know, I've been a part of sports teams. I've been a part of clubs been a part of a lot of things, but it basically ties all of those together. There's so many things that this is really doing for people. So my advice for somebody that's on the border, you know, I'd say take time out of the equation and, and let's do it. You know, jump on board and really meet a lot of young, like-minded individuals that are going to help you become a better person. I've had ups, I've had downs, I've had trials, I've had tribulations, I've had challenges, I've had successes. And I'm here to tell you, every single thing you go through, every challenge you go through, is 100% worth it when you make it. I grew up in Detroit, Michigan, in an area, you know, a lot of poverty, a lot of struggle. And the worst thing I found out about that area I grew up in is the people, you know, they had no hope of making their situation better. So when I came to college and I actually found a group of people who actually invested their time into making sure that I'm successful, you know, it was something that really mind blew me. And I want to take that back to Detroit. You know, the hope that I want to bring back to my city, and, and I won't stop until I actually make that happen. We feel that the YPR will be the change that is needed for our generation to bring back the American dream. You know, what that was all about, about fighting for freedom, about the life that you actually want and being able to do what you're meant to do with this one life that you have here. We can show other people though, through our mistakes, through everything that we overcame, that it is possible. And just being a part of a culture and um, a movement like this is really just uplifting and, it's, and inspiring in itself. Realize the stars have lined up. And when you find something like this, if you don't realize, recognize, and take massive action and have a sense of urgency, you may never have the stars line up like this again. You know, are you ready to become a professional? Are you ready to stop being an amateur? Are you ready to step up and finally get what you deserve out of life? Because that's what we have here, guys, with the Young Professional Revolution. If you've ever felt like you wanted to do something big in your life, this is your time. This is your time to become a young professional. Rise to the occasion.
Let's take it up a notch, man. Let's put the future in our own hands and let's change the way that people look at us as young entrepreneurs. So you, me, everybody that's watching this video, take a stand and be the person that you wanna be. You have too good of a life in front of you, so make the difference and make today be the day that you decide to be a young professional and take control of your life. At the end of the day, the way I look at it is if not you, then who? If not now, then when? And if not this, then what? In life, we have very limited opportunities that we can capitalize in order to get us where we truly want to be. Like where you want to be like when you were a kid want to be. And the way I look at it is that every blessing known is a curse. And hearing about this at this point in the time truly is a blessing. And five years from now, ask yourself the question, will this be the blessing that changed my life forever or the curse I think about every time I go to sleep? Simply because you fail to realize that the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek.